everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful tuesday i've been a little mia from social media and my youtube but i am back talking about some more bad girls club drama because since my last bad girls club video which was literally only like two weeks ago there has been a crazy amount of drama it is like a tsunami of drama came through and just wiped fans out and i was trying to kind of get all the drama together just let it play out before i make a video so a lot of you guys probably already know everything that i'm going to talk about because it has pretty much already gone down um but i did want to post a video talking about it because i just posted a video talking about the reunion you know like it's like i kind of guess i gotta close this chapter of bad rules club because it's fucking obliterated <laughs> anyways i did just recently post a video talking about the bad Rose club reunion and everything that i had like all the information that i had talking about it all the details things like that um the girls that were supposedly supposed to be on it the fact that fans were supposedly supposed to vote who they wanted to see in the house in um I also talked about the fact that we basically already know that the cast is set because of the Victor twins. They did kind of out the situation on accident. I don't know. They were saying things like, we don't really give a fuck if you like us or not because we're going to be in the house anyways. Or it doesn't matter if you like us or not because we're going to be in the house regardless. So we all basically already figured out that the voting thing was bullshit fraudulent ass shit okay <laughs> we already knew well in the last two weeks tea has been spilt receipts have been posted and since deleted like it's been a mess so after my video i want to say like a day or two after it literally was like 48 hours after i posted my video tanisha backed out Yes, Tanisha and Natalie, they were the ones that were supposed to put this whole thing together. But apparently, Natalie Nunn is like the hardest, most difficult person to work with on the face of the Bad Girls Club planet. And Tanisha was like, I'm done. I just can't work with this chick. She is too much. She is not listening. According to, according to Tanisha, Natalie wanted to like rush the whole situation, which we now know is very true and obvious. Um that like she i think that i think tanisha was where we first figured out officially that it the voting was a like a scam and a lie that the cast had already been determined um but tanisha she got herself out of that situation asap Re it was really between one and three days after i posted my video that she was done that i i would like to say more like a day i want to say the next day she announced that she was not going to be a part of it but i'm giving grace and i'm going to give it two and a half days <laughs> but i do think it was less than that anyways so a few days after tanisha backed out the victor twins and erica got kicked the fuck out so let me rewind just a little bit after tanisha got after tanisha removed herself from the situation the cast was announced and it was everybody that we already figured out and figured was going to be on the show it was jada like who the fuck is really going to vote her in like i know she has fans but there are people who have way more fans than she does like we already knew it was basically everybody that like the only people every time i start filming there's a noise i apologize we live near a city like a large city we're just gonna have to deal with it okay anyways it was everybody that we already figured out because they were the only ones that were posting about it so it was jada rocky shannon erica and christina from bad girls club season nine um the victor twins oh and natalie nunn of course natalie can't be a part of anything without being the center of it and but we all already knew that that sh that has been her brand hello nobody is shocked by this anyway so the cast was announced Every danny victor even posted a video i think the beginning of her video she was like and you guys really thought that we wouldn't be a part of this you guys thought and you know cause she does this a lot when she <laughs> when she wants to emphasize something you guys thought <laughs> 
<laughs> they're a mess, but they do crack me up. Like the Victor Twins, they do, they're crazy, but they make me laugh. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's, I, I, and I don't really know if it's a laugh with them or at them situation, but I do get a chuckle out of them. So thank you, Victor Twins. Anyways, she posted her video. They were cheesing it up. They were excited. Everybody was. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know them personally, but from what I saw on social media, everybody was excited. I'm not bullshitting anybody when I say about one to two days, two tops later, after the cast was announced, shit went down. Bullshit was starting to rain all over the Bad Girls Club community. And it was like bullshit drama, so stupid, so silly in the grand scheme of things. But it was such a great distraction from like real life bullshit that it was nice to like pay attention to for a second. And it was basically Danny, Gabby, and Erica. They got, and they said this themselves multiple times, they got kicked out of the Bad Girls Club or Bad Bitch Reunion. I don't fucking know what it was called, but I think it was Bad Bitch Reunion group chat. And they, like Natalie and the other girls, changed the password to the OnlyFans account that they all had the password for, things like that. So basically, they shut them the fudge out of this project and they lost their mind. Danny, Gabby, Erica went the F off and they basically just lost their bullshit like they really went crazy danny we all know she has a tendency to kind of get obsessive about things she's even admitted this herself in her past videos um where she just starts posting screenshots like screenshots galore i even have some of the screenshots and i'll post a few but to be honest like it's too much work i might as well just fucking talk about it get it over with but she posted a shitload of screenshots she has been like blocked out of her own private Instagram so she was posting it on her like twin Instagram and I guess that is I guess she's taking over that Instagram now whatever that's a whole different thing but she posted like an insane amount of screenshots all over the place all over her twin Instagram they are still probably up on T pages like Char's stepdaughter, Bad Girls Club T Inc. Um, I think Kiki's Godmother, you know, pages like that. I'm sure they're still up. So if you want to go check them out, they're on those Instagrams. But she was basically just calling Natalie out for being a scam artist, for lying. I guess Erica, Gabby, and Danny, their plan for this show was to create episodes. They wanted to get a production team and they wanted to do all this shit. I guess Natalie and the other girls had a different vision for this reunion. I guess their plan was to do like an OnlyFans-esque thing. Show the girls partying, some fights maybe, but they were mostly talking and thinking explicit stuff um natalie at one point was talking about like a slumber party where they're in like sexy pajamas things like that um like mud wrestling definitely things that i'm glad i never put down that ten dollars or twenty dollars whatever amount it was i'm glad i didn't put any money towards it some people were trying to call me cheap for that shit but not on my watch like i, I didn't have to pay for bad girls club so why the fuck am i going to start now like hello Anyways, long story short, at the end of the day, it just came down to the fact that the twins and Erica had a different vision than what Natalie initially had. And the twins and Erica didn't take Tanisha's cue and just leave before it all went downhill. <laughs> At the end of the day, that probably would have been the smarter move. Danny and Gabby have posted their videos on YouTube. We know that they love to do that, which more power to you because, you know, while I'm getting ready, it's definitely something I listen to. Um, Natalie went live multiple times bitching about the situation. Um, there was drama between Gabby, Danny, and Christina. Gabby, Danny, and uh jada rocky and erica like there was it was just all like internet instagram drama i've been taking a step back from instagram really so i only catch it like at night when i'm putting my daughter to sleep um and you know like briefly 
but I did see all of the screenshots. I did see all of the tea. I didn't watch any of the lives. I just saw clips because I don't have that kind of time. Like Danny and Gabby went one day, they went live apparently like a shitload of times, like five or six times. It was a little much. Um, they definitely like were holding on to the situation, but their point was they want their money. They did promote the show. They did, um, they did apparently buy non-refundable plane tickets, which to me, when I heard that, I was like, what? You bought $1,000 each, so you both spent $2,000 on non-refundable plane tickets to go do a show with Natalie Nunn, who is probably the most problematic bad girl or ex-bad girl in the franchise because she's always in some shit along with the twins but you know what i'm trying like nobody really gets along with natalie and in the middle of a pandemic okay i i honestly just don't know where th what they were thinking what any of them were thinking really we're in the middle of a pandemic you guys are working with natalie nunn who none of you get along with long term like what um, they really should have just taken the cue, like I said, from Tanisha, but they didn't. They just kept rolling with it, which is why I'm kind of side-eyeing Erica and the twins, because they were rolling with it. They were still interested in being a part of it until they got kicked out, until they were no longer able to chat in the group message, until they were no longer to able to see the analytics for the OnlyFans. They were still down to be a part of the scam. And that is where I'm like, you know what, like all of you guys are a little scammy. All of you guys are a little weird, a little funky. I'm not too into it, but I'm still going to pay attention because it's entertainment. Um, and so now they are currently in Atlanta. When I say they, I mean everybody but the twins and Erica. Natalie did get Tiana from Bad Girls Club season 11. Oh, Sarah was a part of it too. I totally forgot about Sarah. Oh my God, and at one point, like Gabby thought that, or no, was it Danny? One of them like lost their mind because they thought that Sarah was like threatening them with a gun when really Sarah was just saying, look, we're in Atlanta, we're allowed to carry here. But we're, whatever, that didn't, I don't even know why I'm including that. Natalie did get Tiana to be a part of this bad bitch reunion. There has been clips galore all over, leaking everywhere. Apparently there's more content on the Instagram than there is on OnlyFans. Some of the OnlyFans stuff is pretty explicit. Like, I guess you see someone's vagina at some point. I don't know. I'm not a part of the OnlyFans, so fuck that noise but that was the case there I don't know when I first found out I mean go look at my other video when I saw it when I heard OnlyFans I was like hmm okay you know because I, I figured there had to be some sort of explicit content because it is OnlyFans and I understand that you don't just have to have explicit stuff on OnlyFans but at the same time this is Natalie Nunn who has been rumored to be a part of like an escort service in the past you know like they're like she is an explicit person there it would have to be there so let me know in the comment section if you were following this whole mess. I'm definitely on the twin side and Erica side in the sense that they do deserve to get their, their cut and their check. Um, do I think that they should be reimbursed for the plane ticket? I don't fucking know because that was their choice to pay for that shit and to get a non-refundable flight ticket. Like, what? You know, like, why are you buying non-refundables when... We're in the middle of a pandemic and you're dealing with someone who is sketchy and flighty as hell. Like that just doesn't make sense to me. But they did promote the show or the OnlyFans or whatever. I do think that they should get their coin. Um, and I, I really think that they should just let go of things sometimes. Not like, not when they're in the right as far as like their check. Like they should be reimbursed for their time that they put in to this project but 
Danny had literally gotten obsessive over this situation. She was posting screenshots like crazy, losing sleep. There was at one point where she posted a video on her YouTube talking about Tanisha and she started crying because she was so exhausted over this shit. And I'm like, girl, you've already said that you're going to get your lawyers involved. You're already going to sue these people. Why are you being so public about it? Give all this shit to your lawyer and call it a day right but they don't know how to do that they they just keep feeding the monster feeding the beast and it's entertainment for us but in that video of her crying i was like girl you really look like you're going through it go take a hot bath put your phone down go play with your dog like what what you know why are you guys spending so much time on live yelling when you can just give all your shit to your lawyer and let them do the work that that's what never makes sense to me you say you have a lawyer say you're gonna sue then fucking why are you talking so much about the situation sue give it all to your lawyer and then go to the spa but whatever let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this whole situation if you guys thought that it was even going to go down because to be honest i wasn't sure when there is so many bad girls and so many conflicting personalities that's the kind of situation and the kind of people that need to be rallied in by a production company there needs to be organization contracts immediately and danny was talking about how she had gotten her lawyer to write up contracts and none of the girls were paying attention to the contracts and i'm like in my mind i was like y'all should have just really tried to sell this to a damn production company and let them deal with it because trying to do it one-on-one -on -one, it just doesn't work like that and i was you know it's obviously right like it didn't work out well it worked out for the other girls danny gabby and erica are not a part of it anymore they are home doing whatever they do um yeah let me know in the comment section what you guys think and i'll see you guys in my next video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i love you guys so much bye